Hello, hello everyone! I'm here with a box opening. Super exciting! So, this doll I actually got as the result of a trade. So, um, full body silicone bow by Bonnie Sieben and Leticia Moreno has left my collection and this doll has joined. So, she came all the way from New Zealand in let's see probably like four or five days like shipping was so fast like I swear to god there's shipments I've gotten in the U.S. that have taken longer than it took this doll to get to me but she came in this um adorable adorable box it's got all these little jungle animals I haven't opened it yet so we'll see what's inside in just a minute but yeah there's like a giraffe monkey rhino zebra cheetah flamingo super cute love it so yeah, there's the outside of the box. And then we can see the doll here. Looks like she's got, oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing. This little teddy bear. She's wearing a little pink, uh, like candy striped kind of uh, dress and a matching bow. Let's see here. Let's, there's some clothing. There's a hairbrush. Wow, this is so beautiful. I love these socks already. And if I get a knock on the door, oh, I can feel this is her belly plate. Um, I might have to pause this video because I am crazy, crazy twist of events. I'm actually expecting another doll today. Um, so yeah, we can talk about that in the next video. But it, this feels like photos or her COA, so I'll set that aside for a moment. And then there's some diapers and a beautiful photo album. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know she came with a photo album. I'm really, really excited to see this. Um, so you'll know, I always put it in the title of my videos. It's never like a big surprise, but this is actually Lulu by Joanna Kay. So let me set aside the box, grab my boppy, and then we'll put Lulu down. Let's see, do we want to look at her and then open the things? I like doing it that way because then you guys can look at the doll or just click off <laughs> while I open all the stuff. Let's see, she's got this beautiful pink ribbon and a blue, bl or pink, wow, oh my gosh, blue. I'm losing my mind. All right. Oh, I'm so excited to see her. I forgot to grab my little toothbrush to like fix her hair up. Beautiful skin tone so far, really lovely nails. I love this outfit, it's so pretty. It's like super, super, super pale pink. Even leaning into like, almost like white beige. It's hard to like, it's hard to say it's pink when you look at her on the pink blanket. Hopefully the light's okay for you guys. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's look at her face. I'm excited. Oh, I wonder what brand of diaper this is. It's called, I don't know why I'm trying to read upside down, but we can take a look at that. And she's got plastic to protect her hair. New pie? That's cool. And there's all these little like, um, you'll have to forgive my ignorance, these like birds on it. <laughs> I, I really, I enjoy this diaper. It's like, it's a new, it says New Zealand under it. So I don't know if they only sell them in New Zealand or if that's where the brand like originates, but that's super cool. I like seeing um, diapers and like things from other countries. And I love these diapers. They've got Thumper on them, um, a character in Bambi. So that's super cool. Those are Huggies. Okay, let's look at her beautiful, beautiful hair. I love this outfit. Oh, I think there's something under her too. Oh, there's a, a tag, <laughs> but she's so soft. Like she's weighted, super like squishy. <laughs> I can see her. Let's let's take this plastic off and look at her beautiful, gorgeous rooting. Let's see if I can. I'm getting a closer look at her hair color right now and it's so beautiful. So this is actually my third Lulu. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix her hair a little bit, but she's got a beautiful swirl. It's like a, a really light, like honeyish uh, brown. So pretty, I love her veining. 
Oh my God. Sh wow. So yeah, I think, I think I just said it. Sorry, I'm distracted by the doll, but this is my, my third Lulu. And wow, <laughs> I mean, wow. I don't even, you guys can barely see her, <laughs> but here, let me see if I can get her up closer to you guys. Wow, I love the veining in her head. We'll need to brush her hair a little bit, but holy moly. <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Sorry if I'm holding her off camera. She's got the eyelid veining that I'm like obsessed with. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm, oh my gosh. She's like, she's got all these tiny little milk bumps on her nose. There's no way you guys are going to be able to see because the light looks strange. <laughs> Beautiful rooting. I love the color of her lips. Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I'm speechless. She is stunning. Oh my God. And see, now I'm remembering why I don't open the dolls first because I get so distracted that I don't open up all the other things. Let's open up her belly plate. Oh my God. Oh, she's so, so, she's so pretty. Oh my God. I'm just like, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm so, oh my God. Third Lulu's a charm, huh? I mean, I still have my second Lulu and she's beautiful too. I did sell my first one on like probably a year or two ago, but oh my God. I, oh my gosh. Okay, let me talk about the artist. So stop I know I'm like all over the place here let's open up I said I'd talk about her artist I'll open up her belly plate let's look at the belly plate I'm sure it'll be equally beautiful so pretty I love all the veining there's very subtle yeah the light is not gonna not gonna cooperate with us here today but there's her belly plate Oh my God, she's stunning. I can't stop staring at her. And then in here there's um, like a pacifier clip, some socks, really beautiful socks. Oh, here, duh, we, we have a brush. We can fix up her hair real quick. Um, one of these very nice, like high quality pacifier clips. Very beautiful. A little headband flowers very pretty and then these little Jamie K socks love these so pretty I love Jamie K I have I don't own a lot of Jamie K things um here let me set all these things aside oops this got caught on her hand okay let me brush her hair real quick and then we'll look through her photo album and then here let me set these diapers aside I'm trying to keep everything in the box so I don't lose track of it. I set this aside, we'll brush her hair, we'll look through her photos, and then open her clothes. Sound like a deal? Not that you guys have much of a choice. I might take her off screen for just a second and <laughs> brush her hair. I love this brush, it's so soft. Beautiful rooting. I love, love the color of her hair. Oh my gosh. She is perfect. Like seriously stunning. I love her swirl. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Okay, her artist, Kalina Lincoln. Um, her Instagram is, oh gosh. Um, newborn forever reborn with underscores between the words. Hang on, I think I saw her socials on the back of here. Reborn forever, newborn, sorry, I had that backwards. So here's the back of her photo album so you can see the name by Kalina Lincoln. She is an artist out of, gosh, I, I wanna say Australia, but it might be New Zealand. So let's open this up if I can get it. <laughs> 
think it's so beautiful when artists include these photo albums. It's a lot of work to take all these beautiful photos and put these together, but they're so appreciated by, by us as collectors. Look how stunning these photos are. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's wearing uh, her artist, um, what she was sent in. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how pretty. Hopefully I can do her justice. <laughs> I have um, just my iPhone at the moment. My nicer camera has a case of the missing charger that I have like literally not been able to track down. I don't know what's, what's up with that, but I'm gonna try really hard to find it. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Guys, I can't. Are there photos? Oh my God, there's photos on the back too. We'll have to, <laughs> maybe I'll take you through the whole thing another time. Oh, stunning. Look at that. I love her. Oh my gosh. Lulu is like one of the most beautiful faces here. Let's just go through the other side. So stunning. Look how real. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Stop it. I just love her. She's stunning. So originally, okay, so the way this all kind of went down is her first owner, she was a custom, and she had like just gotten her, like had only had her for a couple weeks. And she contacted me about buying um, my prototype bow. And I was like, sure, like, of course, I'll sell her to you. Um, because I had posted her just kind of um, vaguely for sale. I wasn't like gung-ho about selling her or anything. Um, but when collectors contact me and they're like, hey, yes, like I'm very interested in this baby, it always like puts me more at ease <laughs> than um, when I do like Facebook posts and things like that, because then you just have like a ton of random people messaging you. Um, but when it's someone really specific and you haven't like widely advertised the doll, it always makes me feel a little bit better because it makes me know like, hey, like they know who this doll is, like they've seen her before and they're like very interested. So I was like, yes, of course, like I will sell her to you. And then um, she wanted like a short layaway and a couple, I don't know if it was like a couple days or like maybe a weekend, she was like, hey, would you actually be interested in doing a trade? And I was like, wait, are you joking? Because I had like... I just, I don't know. She was like new to this collector and she's so stunning. I just didn't think there was really any universe in which I would ever have her. So she asked for the trade and I was like, absolutely. So I know like some people are like, wait, you traded with someone like halfway across the world. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm American. So New Zealand is very, very far away and doing trades like just in general is kind of risky, but I've done trades before only in the US and all of them have been totally fine. Like as long as you talk to the collector and they seem like, you know, quote unquote, I'm putting this in air quotes, but like normal. And you know, like they're a long time collector, they have references, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I've never had any issues with trading. It's a little bit scary <laughs> for this one just because she was so, so, so far away and I've never shipped internationally, but hopefully she gets bowed today. Um, it doesn't say out for delivery yet, but New Zealand is like 18 hours ahead, so. It's still like, I think it's like 4 a.m. there right now still. But yeah, I'm I'm super pleased. I hope that the collector on the other end of this trade is super, super pleased um, with full body silicone bow. And yeah, so I know the light is just absolutely not doing her justice, but we'll open up these things in this package and maybe I'll take you down closer to see her. Oh, this looks like more items that match this onesie she's wearing. So there's like a little matching hat, a matching bib. Look how beautiful that is. And then these little Jamie K shorts. These are so cute. Yeah, I don't have much Jamie K, but I've always um, really appreciated their prints. I think they're beautiful. 
Oh, this is stunning. This is so soft. It's um, Berry Basics Bamboo Blend. I've never heard of that brand, but I'm loving it. It's um, purple with little purple flowers, or purple and white, I should say. She's gonna look so pretty in purple. And then there's the matching footies. Love these. This is a brand called Teeny Weeny Essentials. And they're like that um, pointil, pointil, I don't know how to pronounce things. Just a pair of like um, cream pants. Those are beautiful. We've got another set of bloomers. Let's see what brand this is. Little Bundle. Super soft, very pretty. And then the matching top. Beautiful. And then we have a dress. So this is H&M and it's white with like dark pink and light pink flowers. And then let me set these items aside. I love this outfit that she's in though. It's so beautiful. I think we've got some photos in here or her COA and birth certificate. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, yeah, there's her COA. She is number 1227 out of 2100. And then here's her artist information again. Oops. Oh, there we go. So yeah, June 13th of 2024. She's 20 inches. Kalina Lincoln. And then there's some more photos in here. Oh my god, she's stunning. Oops. Oh my gosh, I was trying to get a little bit of smooths off and the photo went flying. So yeah, oh, she's so pretty, I can't, I'll never get over that face. Like literally just like at every angle, she's so beautiful. Look at those little feet. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm dying, she's so pretty love her and then there's a card in here as well a little thank you card beautiful 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 I am going to try to take some better photos <laughs> where we can do her justice I know she's kind of like I always end up doing the videos over here but then the dolls end up being like backlit here let me take my camera down that's better. 18 minutes in and I finally <laughs> somewhat fixed the lighting. But yeah, she is a stunner, no doubt about it. That rooting, I can't. She's perfect. I wonder if you'll be able to see the capillaries on her eyelids that I was talking about in the little milk bumps. But yeah, she is a stunner. And I would undress her and show you like more details, but I love her in this outfit. So, <laughs> so I might just I might just keep her as is for a little while. Love, love, love this sweet baby. She's stunning. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm gonna stare at her for a while. <laughs> And like I mentioned earlier, weird twist of fate, I actually have another doll coming today, or she should be coming today. Um, so I'll probably be back at some point, we'll see. But yes, thank you for watching this box opening. And much, much, much more to come because I very much enjoy this doll and I know I'm gonna be like camera happy for her because the Lulu sculpt is very easy to photograph. She just has one of those faces that's just like stunning at every single angle. Okay, I'll stop prattling. Thank you again for watching and take care guys, bye.